Afternoon all. Uh, I just thought I'd just brief you about a little project that I'm doing with uh, a new sashi for a trailer. A little lump of um, 150 by 50 by 2 mil RHS here that I've been doing a bit of an experiment with as you can see. Uh, um, she's all open and by looking down the front of it you can actually see the de deformation in the in the tube. So what I did was I stuck it in a press to see how much it would move. So we put 15 ton on the top of this and as you can see she's really bulged out the side and if we look down the rail it's actually curved. So not too much but um, that's the case. So that's just a standard lump of RHS. I was able to get onto some um, some 50 by 50 by 2 mil RHS and what I've done is I've fabricated a, uh, a laminated truss. So as you can see we have welds approximately 150 mils apart. So what I've done is I've worked on the basis that this weld here is a pin over to there which then becomes effectively a truss. So the whole thing as you can see is going backwards right along so it actually doubles up it goes this way and then it goes this way so it makes it really strong i did the same test put it into the press um, as you can see we've got the deformation again uh, this time it took 30 ton of pressure to do that and the amazing thing is it's as straight as an arrow that bar there, as you can see, has got a slight amount of bend in it, but it's, it's neither here nor there. So, needless to say, our chassis is going to be made out of a laminated steel beam. Um, this beam here weighs around about 4 kilo a metre, this weighs 6. It's amazing what you can actually do with a little bit of welding uh, and sort of putting things together. Um, I've actually been playing around with making a four metre chassis out of this uh, design and stay tuned and this is the first stage of our new trailer build.